I'm David Kakava from Georgia. I've been involved in youth work for a very long time now, as both as a young person as a and as a representative of youth organization as a youth worker. And from very beginning, I was very much into digitalization aspects in youth work. Let's say I'm a tech savvy person and I always try to tinker around and put it in my daily activities. So that's like when I even didn't know that uh, what is digital youth work, I was uh, applying basic principles of it. And my like professional development in digital use work started actually with digital security and privacy when I was working with young people with vulnerable backgrounds, say, yeah, and young activists. I was introduced to the concept of the digital use work at uh, one of the conferences, and I, it basically caught me up and I started to dig around in the internet and getting information from my colleagues what is digital use work. But basically way before I was uh, using different tools in my uh, daily work on a local or international levels, one of the first elements or tools what I used was while working with young people was Ingress again. It was... Uh, I think it was in 2013. The game was popular way earlier from 2011, but in 2013, I returned back to Georgia and I was inspired by my colleagues uh, in Lithuania who were using geocaching as a tool for working with young people. And for me, that was like the first point to where I actually started to use it uh, myself, digital tools proactively with young people. I consider it the starting point. In 2019, together with my friends and colleagues, uh, we started to develop a different project on uh, digitalization in youth work and how to use uh, different digital tools in, in everyday work on local or international levels. But then we had dreaded year when pandemic hit us and basically everybody moved from the physical spaces into the uh, virtual spaces. And this process actually accelerated a lot of ideas and the needs what we had before with what, what we saw, but it wasn't so common yet. And then basically uh, humanity was faced with such challenge as mm, uh, digitalizing different learning activities. And uh, for me, this uh, pandemic is not, it's actually the worst thing what would happen to digitalization of youth work because everything was moved to Zoom, which is uh, for me is not a digital youth work. And it's not uh, proactively using the, the tools. However, this notion that the, everything is happening in the virtual, virtual spaces in Zoom is, has been evolving and becoming a stronger point. However, with the development of the Zoom fatigue, a lot of youth workers are back to the reality. And uh, realizing that at least we realize that using only particular tool and call it digitalization uh, or dig digital use work is not right, basically. And what excites me right now about these developments in digital use work, that this, this notion is being debunked, basically, on uh, digitalization of use work. And I can see a lot of, of my colleagues in Georgia or abroad in Europe actually starting to use more proactively digital tools while working with young people. And that's, and that's very crucial for, for development of the uh, digital use work in general and debunking the notion of the uh, the, the, the digitalization equal to Zoom calls. In 2019, December, there was a big conference in Georgia on youth work, and there was born idea, uh, initiative on creating a digital, European Digital Youth Workers Association or something like that, a, a union, very informal. However, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, we again halted because we didn't want uh, this digital use work to be associated with pandemic or being a reaction to it. And uh, during this conference, all the points which young people and the youth workers raised were very crucial for the you know, for, for youth work development. In the regions of Georgia, Georgia is more than just Belize. In Belize, young people have to access to different services provided by the government. And the regions are being most of the time discriminated when it comes to the services provided by the government. And one of those includes uh, wider than the, the use work. It's also the access to the internet. 
And in the regions, young people basically don't have the stable or at all access to internet. And when we were talking about the development of digital use work in the regions in Georgia, first of all, we saw the need of the government to provide the digital services in general for the regions. And uh, however, right now we are on a hold for a while because of the political tensions in the country. The Youth Agency of Georgia, last year, we started to work on different documents simultaneously. One was a development of concept document on digital use work, but simultaneously I was involved in the development of the state policy document on, uh, on use work. And having too many policy or strategic documents, we have challenge of proper implementation of these documents in the country. Instead of developing yet another document, we decided to embed directly into the main document different aspects of digital use work. We broke down. First of all, we were inspired by the European recommendation on digital use work. We took that document, we broke it down. And then we try to embed the elements into the state document, keeping it realistic and implementable. One of the main aspects what we put into this document is the access to internet and creation of a digital platform for, for learning opportunities for young people and data management and the privacy of, 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 of young people. So that was like three main elements in my personal agenda, which I wanted to implement what I thought uh, would be realistic to implement within given reform in the country. In 2021, we decided to create a supplementary document on uh, digital uh, use work. So we are creating a concept document, which is actually inspired by Estonian right now. We are gathering data of last year. And also our different departments, they have conducted the different searches through, through the year. And part of this research was also the digitalization in news work. And after analyzation of this data, we are going to develop the concept document on digital use work together with our partners within the use agency and the external experts. Last year, in 2020, we had a a big call for the applications as the state agency. And of course, one of the priorities for us providing grants for the organizations which incorporating digital use work in their daily activities. And however, we saw the lack of the digital competences in the country and many organizations expressed their will to more actively use everything digital in their activities. However, they didn't have the capacity for that. So we funded uh, one of the organizations which provided a proposal on running training for, for youth workers on digitalization. The, basically, the um, entire program was uh, the training program and the project was inspired by this expert's uh, recommendation on digital youth work. Even though as a state agency, we are trying to implement uh, the different policies for the true capacity building of the organizations, we need uh, direct funding and also increasing the competency of youth workers, especially digital competencies, which is a challenging task. We're going to bring the development of this concept document to the wider public for discussion and input of the youth workers and also young people, of course. Digitalization of youth work is, is coming. It's inevitable and it's very important that we would face this fact and incorporate the digitalization in our daily work. Because as youth worker, I feel that I should be in spaces where young people and I believe that it's crucial for me to be on all platforms. It will be in a physical space or the digital space where young people are. And therefore, implementation of the policies by the governments and with consideration from the civil society on digitalization is crucial for development of the society in general. And for me personally, young people are the main pillar of the, of the future and the digital future is, is now. 